welcome boys and girls, teacher Aaron here. I have a little thing I want you to see if you can figure this out. It says, it is fi. Can you, any guess on what it says? Even at home you can write this down. It is fin, finished. It is finished. What is finished? You might be thinking about that question right now. In our lesson today, teacher Deborah um, shared about that. And if you want to look back and watch that, it's called, Why Did Jesus Have to Die? But the answer to that question is found in our Word Up today. Our teaching Word Up today. It says, Jesus died for me. Say it with me again. Jesus died for me. So that is the answer to this question of what was finished. You see, we deserve to be punished for all the wrongs we've done, our sins. We didn't need a Savior, someone to rescue us. And you see, when Jesus went to the cross and gave his life for us on that cross, he paid the penalty for our sins. He took our punishment. He completed what, what was needing to be done, sacrificing his life to save us. So when we think about it is finished, that's what comes to my mind. I want to read this verse from Colossians chapter 1, verse 14. And you can find it in your Bible if you have one of these at home. It's on page 1086. And this is what it says. Colossians 1, 14. In whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. See, if you trusted in Jesus as your Savior, you know that you're in a right relationship with God. You're made right with God. You're not an enemy with God. You're a friend of God. And isn't that a wonderful feeling to know that you're not guilty, you're not having to be punished for your sins, but you're set free? I want you to think about this, or get a piece of paper, like I have one right here, and, and, and write down, how does that make you feel to know that you have been set free and forgiven of sin? This is what I wrote, all right? I wrote the word free. Like, I'm free, I'm set free, I don't have to worry. All right, I'm, I have peace. Like, there's no war in my soul or in my life. I'm at peace. Another one, thankful. I'm so thankful that Jesus rescued me. It makes me so happy. The next one I wrote down is joyful. I have so much joy in my heart because I've been rescued from my sins and I have a life to live for the Lord. It makes me happy too. So maybe you can write down some of those things that makes you happy, you're right? And joyful. You know what it even makes me want to do right now? It just makes me want to yell out and say, Thank you, Jesus, for saving me! Don't you just want to do that sometimes? And I pray that joy... It really makes you want to go tell other people, right? To go and tell other people what Jesus has done for, the, has done for them, has set them free. Tell them how they can be forgiven of their sins. You can even do that right now. Think of somebody you can tell about Jesus, how he saved them. And right now, I'm going to just pray for you and for the people that God is going to, going to, you're going to be you know, used to touch their lives. So let's just pray. Jesus, I pray of my dear brothers and sisters out there, you would use them mightily to share the good news of Jesus with all kinds of people, Father. Give them a joy and a boldness in doing so. And I pray for the people who are yet to believe, Father. Pray that they would see their need for you. Thank you, Jesus, for what you have done. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to get notification of new videos.